Say. Start again from the beginning? Yeah, from the beginning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm my glasses, actually. You may have missed it. 30th of July, just a few days ago, a special mission set off to Mars, blasted off from Cape Cape Carnival. Oh, I've forgotten the name of it. Can I start again? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm live. Set off on a space mission. The interesting thing about this was the name of this vessel, the name of this rover. It was named by a 13-year-old, a precocious 13-year-old named Alexander Maher. He entered a competition for naming the rover, and he won the competition, and the rover was named after him. And in his essay, he referenced or referred to the previous names of the Mars missions. And their names were Curiosity, Insight, Spirit, Opportunity. And he said those are all great facets, great names. But he said there's one thing that was missing. For you can have all of those qualities, but if you're missing the one thing, you're not going to achieve anything. And what was that one thing? Perseverance. He won the competition. He won the competition not only because it's a good name, but because it's a good quality, but because it's an essential kind of quality to have. And particularly as we found ourselves in these dark days in Melbourne, in this winter of our discontent, at this time, what we need more than anything now to see ourselves through this is perseverance. Perseverance is an essential human quality. Perseverance is also an integral Jewish capacity and quality. Rabbi Akiva taught us all about perseverance. Rabbi Akiva, who saw the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash, which we spoke about and we saw about Tisha B'Av last week, Rabbi Akiva had the long view, and he said, the temple may be destroyed, but I can still laugh. Life can and must continue. And Rabbi Akiva had learned this from his earliest age, when at the age of 40, he had observed drops of water falling on a rock, drop by drop, and he had seen how these droplets, these little water, softest element in the universe, was able to etch away at the rock and create a sculpture in the rock, a piece of work in the rock itself. Rabbi Akiva said, I learned how to live from a drop of water. I learned how to live through being persevering. And that is the message that we need to carry with ourselves today through these dark times. Slowly, drop by drop, step by step. Whereas the prophet Yeshayahu said, Tzav le tzav, kav le kav, zeir sham, zeir sham. A little bit here, a little bit there. We've got to get through, through, we will get through this day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, through this quality of perseverance. Remember, it was by perseverance that the snail reached the ark. So, let's join together as we join together on this Shabbat with a spirit of perseverance, for that is what Shabbat Nachamu is about. Nachamu, Nachamu Ami, be comforted, my people. Persevere, work together, endure. We will get through this together. not being afraid and about getting to the other side of the bridge. We sang it last Saturday night, we're going to sing it again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our pretty Shabbat, our Shabbat of Saul, um, with our Ramanim, with Tani, and um, we're going to sing the song that Rabbi Nachman made famous, well not from seeing, but from saying. The idea of not being too afraid, just the right amount of adrenaline to get us from A to B, not forgetting the final destination and that the journey is important, not just the destination. That we'll get there. <laughs> Thank uh -huh. 
and he is well and strong and he's fine but we miss you Dov and Dov is watching this we love you Dov and Dov is the brainchild of this beautiful Kumsitz beautiful pre-Shabbat that we have so um, Dov all of us over here we wish you a refur shalema may you be strong may you be well and we look forward to be able to physically dance with you very very soon Amen.
I think a perfect way of getting into further into the singing of Shabbat and moving on into a new week. The first word of this week's parasha is the Hayah, and it will be. And I came across a most beautiful medrash that says, generally in the Torah when Bahaya is mentioned, it's talking about a positive theme, a positive context. As opposed to the word Vayahi, and it was, is generally something not so good happened. And when we're walking around with Pekalach on our back, when we're walking about weighed down by what's happened in the past, it's really tough to move forward. It's really tough to advance. But this week's parasha begins with Vahaya. We're looking with our eyes forward. We're heading into a new Shabbat, a new week. And yes, the past week was difficult for us all in many different ways. And the things we can control, we did our best to, to control. But let's try and take off the baggage, take off what we don't need to carry with us. Vahaya, and it will be good. We will remain positive. We will remain strong as we enter into this beautiful Shabbat, into a new week. Beautiful words. We celebrate Hashem, not only here, and not only us, the mountains, the seas, all proclaim God's glory. Let's sing of Nicolot Mai Rabbi. My dear friends, we try to recreate, if you look at the screen, we try to recreate the Kotel because we know that the gates of heaven are never ever closed when you're standing at the Kotel of Ravi. And as Rabbi Shmuley said, you know, we've had a hard week, but we stand here as we're about to come into Shabbat and we feel light because we know the Queen of Shabbat is coming in with us. So all of us, let's go on the journey, let's go to the Kotel. Let's go and greet Shabbat. Bring Shabbat into your life. Bring the warmth, the spirit, the energy that only Shabbat could have. Everyone, let's go. You can always do some We can be comforted.
sending his love, he's sending his best wishes. He's here with us, not physically, but he's here with us and we feel his energy. Dov, we love you and keep strong and stay healthy. We wish him a Yeah. 
in London, but to all our mothers who bring so much warmth and love into this world to enable the world to continue existing. Let's have an Asia Chaya. We'll be in, uh, for the for the C major, Sonny. Which one do you want to sing, Mr. No? Well, you, you take bread, bread sing, and sing. Let's sing this one. Die, 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 die
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Brett. Brett, thank you.